Hi, uh, part nine. Uh, I've made a few changes onto my blue tip. Um, I took out this, I had a plain piece of grey and I just took that out and I've just replaced it with, um, it's got a little, little flowery bits in it. And because I've used it there, I always like, if I'm using one piece of material, I like to make sure that I've used it somewhere else. So I've then gone and put it into the tail feather here. Uh, and I've also built up my tail feather. And I put this piece in, which is the same as the piece over here. So just so that it um, ties it all together. Um, and also this this piece here, which actually on my plan is more of a grey colour, it's grey brown colour, it's that piece down there. I've changed that into a piece of the blue fabric that I used up here, um, just to tie that in as well, because I, I felt that was um, needed to pull in a bit. And I've, on this bit down here, I don't know quite why, but my plan has this bit sticking right out, and I don't, don't think that quite works. I'm really sorry, that's my dog's drinking. It's it's a very, very hot day over here in the UK. Uh, the hottest ever recorded. Um, <laughs> and although it is quarter to seven at night, it is still very hot. So all the heavy panting all the drinking <laughs> isn't me, it's the dogs. Um, so anyway, I was saying about this bit here. Uh, it sticks out rather a lot and I don't really know why I've done that. So instead of using my pattern, I've actually just brought it more or less coming straight down into the tail feather. So it's up to you how you feel you want that to go, but I just felt that that bit just kind of stuck out a bit. I don't know, don't really know why. <laughs> I'm sure I did it for a reason, but I can't think why now. Anyway, so uh, that's where we've got to on there. And I thought we'd have a go at the foot, this foot here. So as per usual, I have drawn it out because I'm going to build it up on here as the whole foot. And then I'm going to bring it and stick it on after the whole thing's been made, so to speak. So it is this foot over here, so we can see it nice and big. And the way you need to think about it is, because it's got some fiddly bits to cut out, what is going to be the easiest part to cut? So obviously we've got this big black piece here, Let's see if I can make it stick out, which actually joins it's this black piece that comes around here. And it actually joins this piece of black that comes here as well. So if I show you by changing the colour on my iPad. So there you go, it, it's it's that piece as well. So that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it as one piece. Um, because then I can overlay this claw and I can overlay this piece. So you won't see any joins in it if you see what I mean. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw round that piece okay it's not very easy doing it like this <laughs> So that is it, which is a slightly tricky bit to cut out. So I'm going to use, um, I've got this quite thin black fabric. It's, um, it's like a lining fabric for jackets and things. And I use quite a lot of this because it um, comes in all different colours. And I find it a really nice material to to use to cut out it cuts out nice sharp lines it doesn't fray 
So it works really well. I, I'm sure there's a very um, posh name for it, but as I've told you before, I'm pretty hopeless on the fabric side of things. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is it's a little bit of a no. I'm going to I'm just going to have a go at it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to hold it on and to go for it rather than sticking it on the other side and cutting it out. So, here we go. I'm just going to cut it smaller. Trying to hold on to all that fabric isn't all that easy. There we go. And off I go. Where am I cutting? Let's get cutting. And just remember, I am cutting on the outside of my line so that I'm always going to have an overlap available to me. Hopefully you can see. I'm not very, I'm really not very good at this technical stuff. I need a director, really. Somebody go and cut. You're cutting out of the line of the camera. Now my dogs are giving themselves a good clean and that sounds really disgusting. have a paddling pool outside so they're coming in wet and then deciding that you know it's the best time to have a have a bit of a brush up so that piece is going to go in there quite nicely so for this I need to stick it on so I just use my little iron wand just to stick on there we go try not to not to get the uh, tape. Okay, so I think next bit I'm going to cut out uh, is this piece, which is a brownie colour. So I'm just going to find a bit brown. It's going to work fine. It's quite nice and dark still. Just going to take the red off of there so you can sort of see a bit better. And again, I'm going to draw around it. It's a fairly easy piece to cut out. And then by put, once I put this piece in, I can just slap whatever colour, this is sort of a grey, light grey colour, I can slap the light grey behind there without having to cut very carefully at all. And that's why you need to think quite carefully about which is the best way round to do something. There will always be an easier way to do something. So we'll quickly go on the outside of my line. There needs to be a very slight overlap. Because by the time I've drawn round it, I've already made it slightly larger. Okay, that bit's going to fit in. Get me paper off the back. So that's going to fit in there. So I'll put behind my black. Just a little bit too big there. So I'm just going to snip that off. Just to get up there. Just snip it off a bit. Stick it down again. Just got the lid. Just put that back in place. 
And now you can see I've got a really tiny little gap. I mean, probably can't see very well. Let me just bring it up. I've got quite a tiny little gap there. But because it's quite small, I don't even have to do very much at all. So let me find a piece of grey. Piece of light grey. There we go. It's a piece of light grey. Which is this bit through here. I've just got to cut a tiny bit off. paper off the back. Doesn't have to be the right shape, just has to fit in there. Make sure it covers over, yeah it will do. And I can just peel these two back. and what was potentially going to be a really difficult bit to cut I haven't had to because I've thought about which is the easiest bits to cut okay so next I'm going to cut this claw and I'm just going to make sure so my claw does go over my black fabric. There we go. And there we go, that's what I'm going to use. It's a little bit dark, I think. for that. It's quite an easy bit to cut out. Excuse my computer who's just telling me that I've got some emails. I'm not cutting over the camera again. Perfect. Happy with that. Now I'm going to cut the other claw out. Colour. The black looks as though it's just dropped a little bit low, so I'm just going to fatten my claw up a little bit. It's going to look a little bit fatter than that's looking, and my claw is going to sit over the top of the black. I should have picked a pencil that was a bit sharper. So, I don't know if you can see that, but I've just made it. You can see I've just made it a little bit wider than what I had left. So, that's the edge of the where the back part, black material is, but I want to just make it a little bit wider there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I love that. It's great.
so the next piece I'm going to do is I'm going to do this piece that runs through here. This lightish colour bit that runs through here. It's a little bit more tricky. Just making sure this line here is just going to drop underneath my black. And I haven't thought about what I'm going to use, what colour I'm going to use for that. So, let's see if I can find a fairly light. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the edge of that. Make sure I've got some stuff on the back yet. So there we go. Gonna roughly cut around it first. Look at that, look, tail end is dropped off. So we're going to start that way again. And then it's going to get darker, so I'm just going to take this bit out of here. <coughs> so just roughly start with. So I'm not having to handle quite so much fabric. Pretty sure that the dog's breathing is probably louder than my voice. <laughs> One day I might introduce you to them. <laughs> so far. There we go. Okay, so we're nearly getting there quite well. So this piece that runs through here, again, I haven't got to particularly cut it out very carefully because it's just going to sit behind those other bits. Do something a little bit darker than that, maybe. Sorry, as I rummage through my collection, I um, let me show you what I do. I keep all of the bits that have got um, fusible on them, I keep them all in little trays with the colour on them so that I can just go back to them and I keep just about everything because like a little piece like that I only need a tiny bit. Um, so there's all sorts of things in here <laughs> and then occasionally I'll have a sort out and chuck a few bits away. But, you know, I, <laughs> it's all very begrudgingly. I throw a bit away. But I think, actually, that... Mm, maybe not quite dark enough still. Ah. It's more like it, I think. Yeah, that'll do nicely. So, I'm just going to... Very generally, 
It's actually this piece here as well. So I'm actually going to draw it just slightly more than I said it was, but I'm just very generously going round just so that I've got that top curve in and I've got the stop, which is the most important bits. The rest of it is going to fit right behind so it doesn't have to be exact. So onto my fabric again. It's come off of there and it hasn't stuck, so I'm going to have to stick that down onto a bit of fabric first. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, got to work out how it goes. cut that out very well because that really needs to be a curve so I'm just going to carefully curve that round a little bit more. This is where I need new glasses. So pull that one back. It's going to stick at the top. And come back down. There we go. Pretty happy with that. So I'm going to do these last few bits. Both of these highlighted bits on the claws stuck together so I'm going to do them together like that make sure that I've overlapped my black so I can tuck it behind let's find some grey what did I do with the grey that I had that's it that's the bit that I used behind there You can see you can build it up really quite quickly. Amazing how quickly you can actually do it just by carefully thinking about which bits to put first, second, and build it up like that. Okay, so that's that. Just smooth that curve over a bit. So rush that bit. There we go. Take this off. I'm going to have to move my bit of tape, I think. That's going to fit behind all of those pieces. And I want to make sure Got no gaps there. Try not to stick my cello tape to my iron. We're nearly there, look. We're there. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'll do this little piece in here with this brown. Now you've probably noticed that my black's come out a bit bigger on my pattern. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Don't worry about it. If it looks alright, carry on. If it doesn't look alright, 
trim it up a bit. under everything this has got a bit of an edge so it's just dropping a little bit under my black there it doesn't matter because when I take the whole thing off I can just trim that round a little bit nicer a bit smoother so I'm not going to worry about it now and then I've just got this bit to fill in here and then I think we're done so, oh, I've got this bit but I'm just going to slap something across here there's a fairly smallish bit if I can find a plan to put in there Okay. That isn't what I planned, but it'd be fine. Because I am the most unorganized person on the planet. Let me just I'm just gonna have to show you. I'm just gonna have to show you my desk. <laughs> That's what I'm working with. And I had pulled a bit out, particularly to go in there. But it's gone. But that colour will do fine. It just shows you how unorganised I am. But before I start again, tomorrow, I will clear it all up. That's just, that's just a day's rubbish. <laughs> not even a day I've hardly been doing hardly anything today and uh, it already looks like that <laughs> it's really not like um, Emily's lovely studio that she showed <laughs> right so that is just going to fit in behind all these bits. There we go. It's nice. And then I just want another bit of that just to fit in there. That'll be fine. Don't have to do any more to it than that. thing I'm gonna just gently take off it's all sticking together and remember I said I just had a I'm very happy with that little edge so I'm just gonna trim that round a bit there we go get rid of that and then this is gonna now hopefully fit in pretty accurately yeah very happy with that mm, bit 
with a wobble. Just hold it on a bit longer. Because some of my fabrics are a bit thicker than others. The light grey that I used was a little bit thicker than the others, so just hold it on and I'm just gonna hold this here so that it sticks to the much to my main body. There we go. And that's the foot done. Simple as that, look, in half an hour. So uh, <laughs> See how long it can you can get it done in. Um, and we'll be back maybe to do the other foot or I might have done that and maybe we might be moving on to background or even the twig that it's standing on. I'll let you uh, I'll let you sit there with bated breath. Bye for now.